Um, I am here with my friend Seychelle. Hello, welcome. Hi. Something a little bit different today. We are not doing art, we are not doing music, we are doing game development, which is a little bit, as I said, a little bit different. For the people uh, who don't know, what is game development exactly? Um, you make and produce video games, basically. <laughs> you develop games. Uh, yeah, you make games. <laughs> yeah, that's um, so sick. Yeah. Uh, like, how did you get into that? I grew up in a construction family, so uh, my dad's a civil engineer, Yeah. Um, my brothers all work in machinery, and uh, so I always sort of like wanted to go into engineering or architecture. Yeah. Um, my mum's like huge with plants. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's where you get it wrong. That's where there's, I get it. Like, I'm not even kidding, there's probably like 400 plants in this apartment. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I haven't counted, but there are many. Uh, through like growing up with that, I like wanted to go into like landscape architecture. Sure. Um, like combining engineering and plants like into one yeah. and so like since I was like 11 I wanted to be a landscape architect Okay, so like did the whole career thing throughout high school I got a job at a firm like for work placement kind of thing I worked with them for a little while and I just sort of like there wasn't something like it didn't click like yeah. it just didn't give me like excitement or like passion or like like you thought it would yeah, yeah. like I've like yeah I just had this like idea of what I wanted to do and was more just like whatever I guess it's a career it's a job um, but like it, it just didn't spark anything and like I think that was when I sort of like I went away like kind of had to think about it and like games were my hobby and like I sort of just realized that there's architecture and there's environments and plants in games yeah and it was kind of like I don't know I it just sort of came together yeah. one day and yeah. I was just like, hey, I could do this in video games. Yeah. So I like went to an open day at my uni SAE and they have like the games course, the discipline there. And like I fell in love with it like on that open day. Yeah, that's it awesome. Was, yeah, it was insane. I was really lucky with that. Like yeah. I've always been artistic. I've always done like drawing and yeah. painting as a kid. Yeah. Um, but like there's this whole thing like you go and study art and like you don't have a job out of that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's kind and of so like, like the next level. Yeah, that yeah. like that pressure of like if you want to be an artist like it's really hard for you like but if you love it you're going to do it anyway, exactly. right? Yeah. But it's like my thing was like gaming and I sort of was like able to combine these two hobbies of like art and games and like this interest of architecture all in one yeah. and like yeah, I've just I've found like that spark yeah like I'm I've been at uni for like four fucking years yeah <laughs> shit happens yeah but like I don't care how long it takes me to do this degree but like I love every moment yeah. of it. obviously there's like lots of types of games and like different genres and all that kind of stuff so like what kind of stuff do you do yeah. so most of my games are quite uh, emotional yeah they're more about a feeling um, or an experience yes yeah. um, so the inspiration for my games like, come from like my experiences yep. and my life um, or like yeah incidents or like a feeling I've had um, so like I've got a few games that sort of focus around like my mental health sure. and my mental illness yep. and, like my Crohn's disease yep. um, or like you know having like a scary moment of thinking someone's following you home yep. um, and like you know walking down a street and thinking someone's behind you yep and then like you that that tension and that anxiety like builds up in you yep. and then they walk down a different, a different street. street yeah and, and that feeling of like holy shit that was scary yeah kind yep. of thing like it's like provoking an emotion yep um and like a lot of the stuff that i want to do is provoke an emotion and bring awareness sure um like it might not be something that people know or like have yep. experienced before but if they play my game um they can get a feel of like sort of how it feels kind of thing. even if they've never like actually felt yeah, that yeah yeah so that's sort of like most of my stuff like i've got a few games that are like really about you know depression and mm -hmm. losing someone that you love yep. um or like suicide and stuff sure. so yeah it's very much it's not so much a game, but more an experience okay. that I like to do. Yep. Yeah, That's like awesome. atmospheres and... So there's, it's like, like you've said to me before, it's not really like a genre. 
Yeah. It's kind of just like... It's more of an experience. Like, there's not like a goal... Yeah. It's not like a goal-orientated, like, yeah. puzzle or game. Yeah, you're game. not, yeah, you're it's not just like, solving something or, yeah. like, you don't have... Really, you don't really have stuff. an objective. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, a lot of my stuff are, like, uh, walking simulators if sure. you want to put a genre on it. Yeah. Um, or just, like, atmospheric. Yeah. Um, it's harsh. Like, I I'm mean, using this word all the time. But no, like, it's a good word. I think, like... It's very confronting as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of... Um, I haven't actually, like, properly played one of your games, but I have, like, had a look at them. Mm -hmm. And it does seem that, like, they're very, like, just confronting yeah. things that people don't really think about that much. Yeah. Or, like you said, like, it's evoking emotion that some people don't mm -hmm. and have never felt and will never feel. Yeah. Like, for example, like, walking down the street, you're thinking someone is following you, yeah. like, most men would not feel that. Yeah. But, like, not necessarily that it yeah. was, like, a, mm -hmm. like, that, but, you know, as a woman, you know, we would feel that emotion more than, like, a fully yeah. grown man. Yeah, that like, anxiety, like, thinking that someone might, like, it's, well, it happens all the time. Um, yes, yeah, like, like, it's, that's what I try and do, is sort of just focus around a, a feeling or an emotion, um, and try and portray that through video games yeah um so i sort of do that like how making video games works is basically you use an engine which is a program yep um it's kind of like so you've got photoshop it starts with a blank slate right sure. and you can make shapes or drawings yep. and lines and splash paint and mm -hmm. stuff but it's for games um so you have like this open void that you can then get a 3d object okay and place it in that in that void yeah and uh, make a space basically. Okay. Um, so it's all about making spaces. Yep. Um, like you have four walls, mm -hmm. a floor, a ceiling, you're done, you have a space pretty yep. much. But it's like that and you can do it on whatever scale you want. Um, my job, I'm a game developer slash designer slash artist. Mm -hmm. um, so I do all aspects of development, like programming, yep. uh, production, uh, art assets, um, world development, so building the actual spaces that you walk around in. Okay. Um, then there's like your visual effects, so your particles, um, UI as well, so like the things that are actually on the screen that you can interact with. Yep. Um, it's the the game that I recently did for Make a Thing um, wasn't a game, but it was another experience, and it's basically just like a field with grass, mm -hmm. and there's like a forest of birch wood trees, um, and you can just walk around in it. And there's like there's a pathway, like a cobblestone pathway, um, some like ruins and structures. Um, there's like a cemetery as well that you can just walk around in. Um, and then there's like the setting of it is like it's set at a sunset. Sure. So like the the environment's like you know that pink and peachy yep, colors. Yep. Um, there's like fog and like that's like a color that you know is like pink and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like you're like sort of building up this setting of like you know a time, um, a location, sort of like it's like to portray and like make this experience. Yep. So, um, there's, like, yeah, particle systems sort of, like, little, like, objects flying around, like, fireflies, and, like, that's sort of the stuff that I do. Okay. It's, like, building an environment. There's so much, so to, much it. to it. Yeah. yeah, but it's basically, like, you can put these spaces together in a virtual world without any limitation. Yeah, right. So, like, that's sort of why, like, when I thought about doing architecture and video games, like, you build a you know, a building, you yep. design a building yep. and then you give it to the builders and then they build it kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas like with games it's like you can have this like picture of something and then just be able to like make it in this virtual space yeah. without having to worry about like physics and gravity. And exactly. You could just do it. Yeah. Yeah, you can just do it. And like there's so much stuff out there like for free with games. Like if you want to make games it's so Available. Yeah, and it's, it's becoming so big now as well. Like, the main like thing that I can say to someone is just like, if you want to be in the games industry, you can't be in it for the money. Yeah, you have solely to, for the yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Like the chances of you making something and it like being a big shot, 
and like you earn lots of money off it like the first go is is really rare yeah um, and you wouldn't be like the thing is people don't people who make it big aren't like I'm gonna make this to make you some money they're just like I'm gonna make a great product I'm gonna make a great mm. game that people are gonna love yeah not people are gonna love and it's gonna make me lots of money yeah kind like, of it's it's weird like there's chances of it happening but it's just like it's if you really are in a like the long shot you have to be passionate about it and I think yeah. that's the thing that's like with most things like careers hobbies whatever like if you're just going into it to like get something out of it mm. you're obviously not super passionate about mm. it and you're not like it's just not gonna work like, there's no point money being your main goal it's yeah. like you can get money out of the thing but like you should find something that makes you fucking happy you should live to work not work to live we're going on a tangent i know i don't think we've actually been talking about what i want to talk about well like i mean it's all like it's, it's all got all to do with it it's kind of a different direction we've taken this yeah. episode but um i will definitely put some stuff like down below like some links mm -hmm. if like to your games if if that's cool yeah. like so people can have a look at them and play yeah. and stuff but just like i will put a trigger warning of course because there is like some yeah some dark stuff, like yeah, if it's you're not quite... gory. No, no, no. It's just it's... like, like we were talking about before. It's like mm -hmm. a lot to do with mental health and yeah. stuff. So it, there is my itchio, which has all my oh, games yeah, on of it. Course. So you can just go there, and there's like a picture a of all my games, yeah. and there's like well, that's a what I'll do. Then. Yeah, I'll just yeah. put like that. <laughs> I'll do that. But yeah, so that's good. Um, I mean, what we could do if you're like down for it, mm -hmm. just kind of like. Maybe like a little run through of a game or yeah. maybe just like how you make a game. Yeah. So okay. yeah, so we'll do that. We'll uh, see you in a sec. So I kind of forgot to do an outro for this video because um, I thought it would all be in the one video, but it's too long, so I'm splitting into two. So the next episode will be um, some gameplay um, on some of Say's games, which is really cool. Uh, but in the meantime, this is the end of this episode. I'll have everything... Um, of Say's linked down below um, so you can go and have a look at all her stuff and until then I'll see you next time thank you bye